hey guys welcome to today's video welcome to my channel and as you know the name of the title is put it in neutral i have done a video look on this look today and it's pretty much just a neutral tone look so if you're keen on seeing how to get this look let's just jump right into it okay so my hair's tied back and we're just going to get started this is all the stuff that i could be potentially using today okay so my hair's tied back and we're just going to get started this is all the stuff that i could be potentially using today and let's talk about the mission impossible dead reckoning part one it's coming out in july guys i am beyond excited john wick four it's coming out in march i yeah i really can't contain myself i just love tom cruise i love keanu reeves i love them i love them so much and yes i'm so just can't wait to see them and yeah are you guys looking forward to seeing those two let me know in the comments below um love to hear your thoughts i am going to start off with the eyes today first because you know what i'm just not in the mood for cleaning up fallout i'm going to be using the new wayne goss eyeshadow palette that i got in my beautylish lucky bag 2023 and this is the palette absolutely beautiful these tones i haven't done a eye look with this at all yet i have used the top two shades in a video once but i haven't done a, a full eye look with it so we're going to be doing a full eye look with this today first thing i'm going to be doing is priming the eyelids i'm going to be using the anastasia eye primer blend that out with the brush and this is a zoeva brush it's a concealer brush hope you guys have been well what makeup have you been enjoying lately i did recently do a little charlotte tilbury haul so i'm going to be doing a full face of charlotte tilbury coming up soon when i get the new products so i'm looking forward to doing that we had a storm last night pretty much had to go outside and put some free weights on the bin to stop it from falling over and i had to put some free weights on the little reclining beach chair that i've got outside because i saw it actually physically move from under the umbrella tree right across to the gazebo and i was like ah oh, that's not a good sign better go and hunker that down so i did it wasn't that bad thank goodness so it was just like a little baby storm but i i really just can't believe that we're going to be going into autumn soon summer has gone by way too quickly Today is a scorcher. I'm actually dripping sweat down my back. And yeah, so it's it's very hot and humid. Okay, I'm going to keep this really simple. I'm going to be starting off with this shimmery shade right off the ball right here. This gorgeous shimmery shade right there. Do a little bit of a swatch. Just a really gorgeous shimmery sheeny shade. And I'm just putting that right in the center of the eyelid. And this is going on absolutely beautiful, like butter. And then with the other side of the brush, I'm going to be dipping into this pinky shade right there. It's like a light pinky terracotta shade. Going into the inner corner of the eyes and blending it in with the shimmery shade. Just ever so slightly we don't want to go over the shimmery shade but we want to make sure that we you know get the edges so far I'm really happy with these shadows and of course I knew I would be Wayne Goss has some really amazing products I'm obsessed with his black eyelining pencil superb so that's what we've got going so far I'm just gonna get in with the shimmery shade again and just make the demarcation line a little bit softer like that i'm going to be going in with this deeper shade right here i'm just using the same side of the brush that i used for the pinky shade actually no better not we're going to be using the other eye and i don't want to have any i just don't want to muddle up the colors there so going in with a another flat brush 
and going on the outer corner of the eye and bringing it out towards the tail end of the brow bone. See the fallout there? Well, that's fine because we can clean that up so easily. Now with the edge of the brush, with the edge of the flat brush, just go on the sides of that shade and create the shape create the shape of the eye so that we have pretty much looking like Neapolitan ice cream okay now I'm just going to be getting a fluffy brush I'm going to be using the elf fluffy blending brush making sure that it's clean and we're going to be going right over the edge of that dark shadow just to blend it out and soften out that edge. I will say the shadows blending out absolutely beautiful. Going to be going back in with that shimmery shade to basically blend it in with the deeper shade that we just used and reinforce what we already started with. And then dipping back into the shimmery shade I'm going to be taking that all the way up over the rest of the eyebrow. And in a corner of the eye. Back in with the blending brush just to blend out the edges a little bit more on the deeper shade there. So I'm happy with the look of that. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video for now and I'm gonna do the other eye and bring it up to scratch. Okay, so both eyes are now up to scratch. I'm just getting a wipe to clean up the fallout. Okay, so we'll leave the lower lash line till after we've put the concealer on because it'll have better adherence then. Now it's time to go ahead and put some foundation on. I'm just using the latest and greatest that I purchased myself. Um, it's the KVD Good Apple Serum Foundation and I've been loving this. Just give it a bit of a shake. And I actually don't have anything on my face except sunscreen, so just, it's going to be going straight over sunscreen. I'm going to be doing just one pump to start off with. Just making sure. And I've been loving this foundation because it's... Actually, I'm going in with it in another half pump. I've been loving this foundation because just great feels great all day I actually just did a pump and a half so damn beauty blender even though I do prefer using a brush with this foundation I just want a little bit more of a I don't know sheerer coverage because it is a full coverage foundation and it's not so full though but you know it's one of those days where I feel like I just need something cool and damp on my skin because it's so hot and humid outside and I am going to be actually using this as concealer as well because it works so well as a concealer and for those of you new to my channel I did do a full review and demo using this foundation and yes yeah, so um, feel free to watch that if you haven't watched it this just sinks in so beautiful little bit more for the concealer I mean it's just it's perfect I don't understand this is just probably like the best foundation that I've ever used on my face that also acts as a excellent concealer it just sinks right in if you do have dry skin, probably wearing like a nice moisturizer underneath will be perfect for it. 
but I find that if you've got combination oily skin, it, it's a really great, I don't know, I just find it's a really great foundation and yes, you can go over it with powder. I have done that before. Now I do have from the Wayne Goss eyeshadow palette some shimmer on my cheeks there, which is pretty much just fallout. Um, and you know what, I'm not fussed about it. I don't mind it, so that's fine. Krish Fiber Brow Gel, the usual. Milk Makeup, do not ever discontinue this product. It is the best. Just using a small little pencil brush. This one here is by Lily and Lolo. And I'm gonna be going in with this neutral shade, pretty light tan bronzing shade right there. I'm gonna line the lower lash line under the eye. Just like that. Wayne Goss black eyeliner pen. Actually, this needs to be sharpened. It's going to line the lower lash line, the inner rim of the eye. Just like that. I'm just using the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout Mascara. Do lashings and lashings of black mascara. I definitely think I've got an eyelash in my eyeball right now. Just seam you in for a close up of the eyes. using the putty bronzer by elf uh, and this is in the shade honey drip I'm just using the back of my beauty blender and I'm dipping some out just like that and bronzing away on the apples or on the high high part of the cheekbone absolutely love this bronzer it sinks right into the skin gives such a flawless natural finish absolutely love it I'm quite impressed with the whole putty range by elf although I don't have the putty primer just want to deepen that up a little bit more a bit on the nose <laughs> Because I'm not going to be actually using any blush today, I'm just going to be keeping it nice and natural with the bronze tone. Because I think the eyes are pretty much the standout feature with the colour. So I want to keep the rest of the face pretty much neutral toned. But feel free to go in with a light pink blush of your choice. Or even a peach blush would be lovely. What am I going to do for lips today? That is the question. For the lips, I'm actually using a Mecca lip pencil, and this is in the shade Plush. It's just a really nice, nudey, pinky shade. And I'm going to be overdrawing the lips for this. And for the lipstick, I'm going to be using ColourPop Cream Fresh by ColourPop. And I'll just give you a swatch of that. It's just a pretty peach shade. So I'm going to be using these two colours. And I'm going to be overdrawing the lips. Just soften up the edges a bit with the finger. Cream fresh. Straight from the bullet. And 
guys, that completes the look. Put it in neutral. The Wayne Goss Amber Palette, absolutely gorgeous. The foundation, absolutely a staple in my makeup routine now. Love it, absolutely love it. Well, anyone can really do a neutral toned face just using whatever palette that you've got. Just your typical boring shades. So that pretty much completes today's video. Oh, another thing, for those of you who have recently subscribed to my channel, thank you so much, it means the world to me. I am doing my best to try and put out some worthwhile content and if you like long form content, as much as I love creating long form content, welcome and I have a lot more coming your way. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this and have a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.